Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It has been a few weeks since I've posted a video. I have had so much going on lately. The kids have been home from school for winter break. My house has been sick a few times, so we've kind of just been taking it easy and resting and recovering. So today is January 1st and Happy New Year, first of all. Second of all, I'm outside my gym right now. I haven't worked out in almost two weeks for a couple reasons, but number one, just because I haven't been feeling as motivated as I normally do. The kids have been home, so it's always harder for me to find time to work out when the kids are home, obviously, because they can't come to the gym with me. Although this gym does have a kids club room, which I'm gonna ask about today to see if maybe I can take the kids with me um, the rest of this week because they don't go back to school until January 9th. Speaking of January 9th, that is going to be a really exciting day for me because if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I am about to do something that I've been wanting to do for years now and I've just never had the balls to do it. This year is my year. I'm super anxious about it, but I am becoming a power lifter. I am starting to train for my first power lifting meet. So if you don't know what power lifting is, it's very different from bodybuilding and weight lifting. It's basically trying to reach your max strength for your three main lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift. At the meet, I'll be competing with other women in my weight class, so I'll be training with a powerlifting trainer starting um, January 9th, and I'll be meeting with him twice a week for the first month, and then probably the following three months, I'll probably just do once a week. And then the meet is in May, which I am so nervous for. It's already like such a high anxiety situation. And then you throw me in there, which I already have anxiety. So I'm putting myself into a really stressful high anxiety situation, but it's something that I've always wanted to do. And I got emotional talking to Johnny, my husband, about it because I feel like if I don't do it, I will regret it and I'm 30 years old. I've been lifting for like seven years now, probably seriously lifting for like three or four years. I feel like it's just, it's my time. So I'm gonna do it and I'm super excited and nervous, but oh my gosh. So I'll probably take you guys along with me for the journey. Um, hopefully once I'm a little bit more comfortable at that new gym and with the coach, then hopefully I can film for you guys a little bit, kind of just my process progress and everything with my with my lifts so that's happening in a little over a week from now I came to the gym today not really wanting to come if I'm honest I've just I've really had to push myself this morning but I got here they were not supposed to open until 8 o'clock today so it's past 8 right now and they're still not open there's like people waiting outside I asked the lady out front she said they're waiting for like the key I don't know if she works here but it's 8 16 so the longer I wait the more or I'm just gonna wanna go home. <laughs> Back to the powerlifting thing real quick. I am so excited and I'm gonna have so much to say about it in the upcoming week. If you guys follow my channel and you see me work out, you probably noticed that number one, I usually pull sumo when I'm deadlifting. Number two, when I squat, I wear weightlifting shoes which have like the heel on the back. So my coach was pretty firm about the fact that he didn't want me to wear those shoes. He wants me to wear completely flat shoes, which is gonna be a little bit different for me. It's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve all around because powerlifting in general, their techniques for each lift are a little bit different than just an average lifter lifting at a commercial gym. The other thing is, like I said, I usually pull sumo, but when I met with my coach to do my assessment of my lifts, he had me do sumo and conventional and he mentioned that he feels like my body type might be better suited to pull conventional. So I'm kind of running with that and although my conventional deadlifts are a little bit weaker than my sumo deadlifts, I feel like I'm being pulled more towards wanting to focus on my conventional deadlifts. So I told him that's what I want to do. So he's putting together my program right now and we're going to prioritize conventional deadlifts. I'm so excited to see just the strength gains that I make over the next few months. I've made quite a few strength gains in the last year or two, but having a coach, specifically a powerlifting coach that is there to help you train for strength, my strength gains are gonna skyrocket and I am so excited.
Hella shameless, necklace on me decorated All this got me feeling jaded Hold up, hold up, I'll be waiting Bad thing on my radar Told me that I'm in a playlist Flower bomb, she a lotus Got me thinking that I'm famous I remember when I prayed for this Like I said in the beginning of this video, today is my first day training with my powerlifting coach. I just dropped the kids off at school. I'm making myself some food. I'm not meeting with my coach until 10, so I figure I should definitely eat something before I go. So I'm just making myself some protein oatmeal and a protein bagel and cream cheese. Got my protein oats, bagel and cream cheese. I like to add almond milk to my oats. I'm really excited for today. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. Hello! My house is a mess, so I really need to clean that. But it's almost one o'clock, so I only have like 45 minutes before I have to go get the kids. But I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly because I just finished day one of my powerlifting journey. I met with my coach. We did squats and bench. I just wanted to say that I am so happy and I'm so excited. And I talked about this a little bit on my Instagram story. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, what are you doing? Go follow me on Instagram. I was talking about how I feel like in the last couple years when it comes to fitness, I've been really searching and longing for more and I never really knew exactly what I was looking for. And um, I feel like I found it. I feel like powerlifting is the thing that I've been longing for and I feel like really at home and at peace and excited. My coach is really cool, super chill and he actually is encouraging me to film 
while I'm in the gym, just so I can like look back at my lifts. I will probably be filming either this week or next week. I don't know, we'll see. But um, so you guys will be able to see what the gym looks like and watch me progress over the next couple months. I feel like this year is all about getting out of my comfort zone, jumping in, diving into something that may feel scary, but this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I've taken the steps finding a powerlifting gym, signing up with a coach, and tackling my assessment, and now finishing up day one. I can just tell, like, this is this is gonna be something that's gonna make me so genuinely happy, so I can't wait. I can't wait, I'm just super excited. I feel like this video was so random, and I've been kind of out of the game for like a month. I've been itching to film, and to edit, and to post videos for you guys but I feel like I've just been like out of whack the last couple months because the kids have been home and not the last couple months, last couple weeks because the kids have been home from school. So they're back at school now. I'm hoping to kind of gain some momentum when it comes to filming and posting on YouTube. So um, thank you guys for always being patient with me. I feel like the next few months are just gonna be so huge for me and so exciting. So I hope that you guys stick around for the journey. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. I don't know if I'm okay. I don't see the light of day. Looking up to higher ground, thinking that'll be your sweet escape. These days, gotta schedule the romance. They say that love is a slow dance. A short bike ride to the crib, using no hands. Oh shit, it feel like I'm floating, but I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin.